Hello, everybody, and welcome to the live reaction of Championship Wrestling presented by Pro Shingle. Another action packed day, but it all leads up to next Saturday, February 27th, the premiere of Championship Wrestling from Memphis. And also, we will keep Championship Wrestling from Hollywood right here on this official YouTube channel as well. So the best of both worlds, we'll talk all about it today. Hello, Daquan. Welcome. The first comment there. Let's talk some professional wrestling. Let's talk some Memphis wrestling. I know that there are a lot of questions, lots of different comments. Let's talk about them. Or we can talk about today's show. Thanks for joining me, of course, on Dustin Star. Lots of familiar faces uh, popping up on the screen here. What did you guys think of today's show? Do you have any questions about what's going to happen this time next week at the premiere of Memphis Wrestling? Once again, we will keep Championship Wrestling from Hollywood on this YouTube channel at CW30 Wrestling or youtube.com slash championship wrestling but then we will also be adding championship wrestling from memphis that is going to premiere at noon next week noon central standard time and then hollywood will be one hour earlier so that way you can watch back to back it's a two-hour block of pro wrestling right here big metroid fan how are you i haven't seen remy marcel in a match in like five years well this was my first time seeing him which was on Primetime Live. Of course, I watched all the different uh, all the episodes of Primetime Live, and that was the first time that I had seen him. And that was his debut on our show here on Championship Wrestling. And from what I know, that was his uh, debut on Primetime Live, which is a newer show. Ron Gibson, how are you? I was a fan of Remy's Afro back in the day. I'm not familiar with his Afro. <laughs> Terry says, Max Caster really shocked me. Oh, man. It did not take very long for Max Caster to sign a contract to AEW. So pretty much immediately following that match, and Max Caster just tweeted about it too, um, he got signed to AEW and then was headlining AEW Dynamite in a main event World Tag Team Championship match. So kudos to Max Caster. Uh, but yeah, man, he really took the fight to the dirty daddy Chris Dickinson. Daquan says, which day is Championship Wrestling from Memphis premiering? Next Saturday, that's February 27th at high noon on CW30 Memphis and right here on this YouTube channel. So the Hollywood program that you have been watching will come on one hour earlier. And then, of course, you can watch and chat to the Memphis program as well. Big Metroid says, I remember him in Paragon Pro Wrestling as a member of the tag team Whirlwind Gentlemen. Okay. Talking about um, Remy. Oh, uh, yeah, Remy. Ron says, great show today, Dustin. There wasn't one bad match. Well, that's the goal is to never have a bad match. We don't want to show you guys bad matches. Hey, what about the women's division? That wasn't a bad match. Man, Zoe Stark and uh, Vipers really took the fight to each other. Do not hit me with any of those chops, please. <laughs> Robert, what's up? He says, hey, Dustin, you mentioned being the son of a wrestler once. I think you did anyways. Was your father a wrestler too? No, I'm not a son of a wrestler. My father was not a professional wrestler. Now, a lot of people do think that I'm a lawler for some reason, but that's not true as well. So, no, uh, my family does not have a history of pro wrestling other than going to Mid-South Coliseum or watching Memphis wrestling every Saturday morning uh, growing up. But, um, yes, no. Ron says, wow, that women's match was epic. I agree, man. Just wait till you see the women's division next week. They will be on the premiere. We will have a women's division champion in Memphis. It will not take very long for us to crown the women's division champion, but we've got some other business to tend to first. Um, on April 11th, our, our TV taping, we will crown our first ever Memphis wrestling champion. So go to championshipwrestlingmemphis.com and grab your tickets. They are still available for April the 11th on the March 7th TV tapings. For those of you who did get tickets, you're going to get the first glimpse of what this championship belt looks like. So March 7th is the reveal. And then April the 11th, 
that's when it'll happen, when we'll decide our champion. Now, those of you who are not in the local area and can't watch it live with us in attendance and buy a ticket, that's cool. You'll be able to see it all unfold each and every week on Championship Wrestling from Memphis. All right, let me see if I missed anything. Daquan says, what does a wrestling bump feel like? It feels like hitting the floor. That's it. You want to know what taking a wrestling bump feels like? Get up and do a front flip, land flat on your back on the floor. That's what it feels like. Robert says, sorry, I thought I heard that once. Yeah, no, I think some people think that, but um, yep, it's not true. Big Metroid, today's program had two great championship matches. Oh, yeah. And it's going to get better, too. Primetime Live had some awesome stuff. But then, of course, you know the championship wrestling from Hollywood will be back in production at some point, and so will Primetime Live. And fortunately for us here in Memphis, we did have a live audience at the first TV tapings. And, and moving forward, we will have a live audience even at a 25% capacity. So it's just just hearing the people is just tremendous, man. And, and being able to talk to them beforehand was really cool too. And thank them. And thank you guys for being here today. Let's talk some wrestling. Ron says, doesn't matter if your father was a wrestler or not, you have wrestling in your DNA from watching all that Memphis wrestling. Hey, that, I'll take that, Ron Gibson. You are right. Mid-South Coliseum, watched every single Saturday my entire life. And uh, now to be a part of, of this and the launch of Memphis Wrestling next Saturday is tremendous. Robert says, I will have to wait until April 11th because I live nowhere near Memphis, Tennessee. Where do you live, Robert? Maybe it's a short, uh, maybe it's a short road trip. Terry says, I was in one wrestling match and that mat and ropes hurt. Yeah, typically after you hit the ropes um, here, you get all chopped up. It's all it's like hamburger meat so to speak i mean it's all welted up and just beat up after you hit the ropes so even that part is really hard about wrestling dave scooby man thanks for the plugs looking forward to the debut next week glad dave and john were able to get back to la yes all right so everybody david marquez and john roberts flew into memphis last friday picked them up first thing we did was had tops barbecue right uh, we went on Saturday. We started doing the setup for the for the ring, the lights, the whole nine yards for our first ever TV taping. Sunday, there was chance of a snowstorm, and it, it does not snow in Memphis, Tennessee. Okay, so it just missed our TV taping by less than twenty four hours. But Dave Marquez and John Roberts were stranded in Memphis until yesterday. I believe it was yesterday they flew out. Unbelievable. I got my car stuck, my Jeep stuck, trying to go pick them up at the end of my cove. I'm sure you guys might have seen that on Instagram, at Dustin Star. But, yes, they finally did make it back, Dave. Uh, Dave uh, Marquez and John Roberts probably will be happy to never visit Memphis again. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But a snowstorm like that has not happened in, like, 40 years here in Memphis. So they definitely were um, got the, the bad luck there. But, hey, we got the TV tapings in, and it looks great. I can't wait for you guys to see it. Robert, you're from Michigan. Man, that's a haul. You'll probably never make it down here to Memphis. Daquan says, Terry, which promotion was it? Ron says uh, he lives in Seattle. Wow. wonder where everybody else is uh, tuning in from. People from all over. I know Lamb's from Germany. Robert says, David Marquez is great. I like his style. It was good to see him on NWA Power last year as well. Yes, a big fan of David Marquez um, on screen and off screen. Terry says, Daquan, it was a small Arkansas promotion. They're having their own side conversation here. But yes, uh, Marquez and Roberts both got stranded in Memphis uh, during our one and only snowstorm ever. The dogs are going crazy over here. Huggy, how are you? Awesome show again. Thank you. Yes, next week is going to be awesome too. Do not forget to tune in next week. It's the premiere of Championship Wrestling from Memphis. Me and my Maria just, it was, oh, it was crazy standing there with, with a group of people and then, you know, doing the show. Uh, it was just awesome. I can't wait for you guys to see it. Robert says, I'm in Sacramento, California. Awesome. Robert, any chance you can get Austin Idol to make an appearance? Austin Idol is a friend of ours. 
Um, I'm not sure how many how many bookings he takes. He's running his uh, wrestling university, but yeah, big ties with Memphis and Austin Idol. <laughs> Daquan says, "Can I see the dog?" He's not around. Downtown Bruno. Dogs in the background having a milk bone. Milk bone in the bank match. <laughs> Well, I've got just a couple of more minutes here for you guys, and then I'm going to hop on Facebook and answer some questions over there. Um, so next week, starting next week, an hour earlier, you'll be able to watch the championship wrestling from Hollywood. And then at noon, you get to watch championship wrestling from Memphis and live tweet, live chat, just like we always do. Let's see. Robert says, I liked it when Idol was Aldis's manager but then he just disappeared. Well, that's the thing about booking Austin Idol and, and not throwing any shade, but he, um, he doesn't show up for some of his appearances. He's kind of notorious for that, especially in Memphis. Big Mike says, hey, hey, from Dresden, Tennessee. Dresden, man, you should come down. That's a short, short trip to come watch some live Memphis wrestling. So on March the 7th, we are going to reveal our first championship belt and what it looks like. You'll be able to watch it on television as well, but that happens at the live TV tapings. And then April the 11th, we will crown our first ever Memphis wrestling champion. And we'll, it's, you guys are going to love it. The tickets are going really, really fast, thankfully. And so, uh, Big Mike, you should grab your ticket at championshipwrestlingmemphis.com and come see us. David, hi, Dustin. Looking forward to Memphis, but also good news about Hollywood. Yeah, a lot of good news everywhere. I think they're launching the Gulf Coast. So that's coming up next week as well. Um, lots of plans. I know that uh, they plan for Primetime Live to come back and then also Hollywood to come back too. So it's very, very cool. Lots of good news all the way around. Thank you, David. Keith, I can't wait to see Sting wrestle at AEW Revolution. Little known fact about Sting is I was in Sting's movie called A Moment of Truth. So a uh, little story. We drove to Nashville, me and Ken Wayne, one of the nightmares. That was a heck of a trip, by the way. Um, but we get there, and Sting, Steve Borden, he's there, and he's kind of telling us he wants us to have this match in some certain spots, and he's basically calling the action for us of what we're going to do. We wrestled this big 20-minute match, and uh, when the DVD came out, I popped it in the uh, the old player and watched it, and uh, literally like 2.5 seconds of that footage was used. <laughs> <laughs> so I am in a sting moment of truth, but only for like 2.5 seconds. Wesley Coker, how are you? He says he's going to try to make it for April 11th. Well, go ahead and get your tickets. Um, we sold quite a few yesterday and already this morning. We're only at 25% capacity, which is roughly 75 people. So it's very, very limited. So grab those. It's championshipwrestlingmemphis.com, and, and typically ringside goes super fast. So I know that we're already halfway through ringside alone. So grab your ringside. It's only 15. Big Mike, he says he's going to try to come. Awesome. Do you go to any uh, local wrestling around the Dresden area already? Daquan, have you ever had a stiff wrestling match? All my wrestling matches are stiff, especially if my Maria takes somebody to Slap City. Right, Rhea? Yeah. She says, especially if it's me, I was about to say, especially if she's hitting me on accident. Robert, one last question for me. Who was your favorite wrestler growing up? I would have to say favorite. Oh, my gosh. It's got to be Ric Flair. 100% got to be Ric Flair. Woo! The nature boy. I had a lot of favorites, though, but Ric Flair was the, the full ball of wax for me. Robert, Dustin, I hope you don't embarrass Maria at the TV taping. Well, hold on a second. Let's talk about that. So it was the first time, and I can't give you any spoilers, but it was the first time that my Maria and I literally hosted and did commentary together over 58 minutes and 30 seconds. And I learned very early on that she's only there for one reason, and that's to mess with me and to try to make me crack the whole time. Um, I don't hear anything from the kitchen. So, uh, so far, I guess I'm accurate. And I don't know, kind of comparing a leg lock to giving childbirth is probably going to be an interesting um, analysis on pro wrestling. <laughs> and then some of the guests that we had during commentary as well. 
Uh, I'm sure you guys will have a little bit of fun with that. So I'm more worried about Maria embarrassing me than me embarrassing her. <laughs> Huggy, can't wait to see y'all whenever I come up to the Memphis area. Come on, Huggy. You're in Florida. Why would you come to Memphis? Big Mike, he says, yes, I do. I go to TIWF in Trenton. Okay, well, you will see some familiar faces on our program. And Swag Wrestling in Henry, Tennessee, I commentate there. I have never heard of Swag Wrestling, but I have heard of Trenton. I've worked with them before. And so you'll see some familiar faces and names and such on our program from, uh, from Trenton. Ric Flair's a cheater. He is. Ricky's Wrestling Channel. Hello, welcome. Talking a little bit of pro wrestling, some Memphis wrestling. Any questions, comments, concerns, gripes? Eh, you might be able to leave the gripes at the door. Watch out for flying frying pan. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> no kidding. Great stuff on today's show, that's for sure. Had a really, really good episode. I think the last three episodes were really, really good. And then a uh, good lead-in for the premiere happening next week. Dobo, how are you, man? Says, how long is next week's show? And it, it is my birthday next week. Well, happy early birthday. And next week and every week, it's 58 minutes and 30 seconds. So it's right at an hour every Saturday at noon. And next week will be a brand new television show, the premiere of Championship Wrestling from Memphis. Daquan, how would you book a wrestling show? Watch next week and you'll find out. <laughs> Wesley says, will Justin Case be at any shows? I'm not real sure, Wesley. Justin Case spends some of his time out in Trenton, Tennessee, and Dresden area and such. James, what's up, James Frego? Ron says, uh, do you have a website up? I tried the roster today, and for some reason, my computer said the site is moved. No, the site should be up. Let me double check. I mean, if there's a... Um, there's an issue with the site, but uh, no, championshipwrestlingmemphis.com is our website. And actually, here's the uh, roster right here. You can see that's uh, championshipwrestlingmemphis.com slash roster. Lots of updates, so updated pictures and such. But no, it's uh, just make sure you spell championship wrestling Memphis correctly because it's a long one. <laughs> it is a long one. But yes, we do have a website. On that website, you can uh, shop the new t-shirt store. A lot of our superstars have their own t-shirts. You can watch episodes of Championship Wrestling from Memphis. Soon, you will be able to buy custom wrestling matches, which we're going to be talking to some of our, our women's division roster to where you can actually order custom matches through our website. Um, and then, of course, you can get tickets off our site as well, championshipwrestlingmemphis.com. Let's see. Wesley, if so, make sure you have a lot of security at the concession stand. Okay. I see what you did there, Wesley. Nicely done. Keith, is the big show retired? Yes, I guess so. I'm not, not real sure, but I haven't seen him in a minute. Daquan, can you post the link to the roster? Yes, I will do that right here in the, in the uh, comments. And I also keep in mind that the uh, roster constantly changes and there are going to be some surprises that happen from time to time. So um, some are there and some are not there. Must be your browser. Yes. But there's the link. I sent you the link, Ron. Dobo is the women's belt next week. Women's belt. Next week is the premiere of Championship Wrestling from Memphis, and you will see the women's division, and eventually we will have a women's division belt in Memphis, but I think you might be referring to the United Wrestling Network. They do not have a date set on when they will crown that champion. Five-star fan cam in the house. Oh, yeah. He says search five-star fan cam on YouTube for many of Dustin and Maria's matches. Yes. Clicked on the link from the Facebook page, and it said the domain had moved. Um, yeah, well, was that yesterday? I did have to update a link yesterday. Oh, let's see here. I just clicked on that link, and it appears that that link might be broken. 
So look, you guys helped me find a problem today. That's awesome. Actually, it's not awesome to have a problem, but it is awesome to find out that you have a problem, especially on a live stream, right? <laughs> I will get right on that. All right. Steve, wrestling fan, how are you? I'm doing good, my friend. Got a couple of more minutes here, and then I'm going to hop over onto Facebook and uh, go live there. Let's see. Keith says, hope, he, hope Sammy Guevara comes back to destroy Jericho's inner circle. We will see. He's going to be a big-time baby face, that's for sure. Ron says that's the same problem he was having. Well, maybe there is an issue, Ron, so we're uh, taking a look at it. Uh, Robert uh, Copland says, when are you wrestling Ray Rosas? You know, I'm not really sure. I do owe him a uh, butt kicking, though, that's for sure. So, ooh. yeah, never know when he might show up. Hollywood's not in production, but Memphis is. Maybe it'll happen in Memphis. All right, guys and gals, I appreciate the, the time and the interaction and everything. I am going to uh, hop onto some Facebook live action. If you want to join me, you can go to uh, facebook.com slash CW30 wrestling or Dustin, the number five and then star S T A R R. But I appreciate it. We are one week away this time next week. We will be talking about Memphis wrestling that we just watched. And that is going to be awesome. Ron says, uh, who trained you as a wrestler? Outlaw Don Bass. He trained me. Also, I worked with um, WWE, some of their guys, of course, through the developmental system. So a lot of people, but ultimately the first one was Don Bass. Daquan, if I became a wrestler, my finish finisher, a fisherman neck breaker, and sometimes a flatliner that I would call Silent Nightmare. Dreaded Kev, what's up? Silent Nightmare sounds like it hurts, man. I've seen some of your matches on Five Star Fan Cam. Maria definitely knows how to incite. Or I'm checking on the website right now, guys. James Frego can't wait for the show. Memphis needs wrestling again. Well, it's back, baby. It's back and going to be better than ever. Ron, thanks for taking the time to chat. Have fun on Facebook. Awesome. All right. I'm going to hop over on Facebook, and we're going to get the website all taken care of. Thanks, Dustin. Will you do one last podcast this Monday? I do not think I'm going to do a podcast this Monday because I want the podcast to premiere fresh and brand new on Saturday. So, but anyways, I really appreciate it, guys. Um, if you missed any of the matches, they're all available in full right now on the feature match playlist. And we're going to get the website figured out. Thanks, guys. Oh, yeah.